Tonight's big story, airport security. With the TSA rolling out another 150 full body scanners nationwide, there is a renewed push to give dogs a bigger role in airport security. As 3TV's Jared Dillingham reports, the idea is that dogs can be more effective and less intrusive. I need your hand, put your hands above your head. Full body scanners peel away layers of clothing to detect weapons and explosives. It's all about the security, so I have no problem with that. But many aren't. The ACLU said the scanner technology amounts to an electronic strip search, and that bothers some passengers. It's weird. I don't know. I do think maybe like a nude image of me is probably a little over the line. As an alternative to the full body scanners, some are pushing a four-legged solution. Technology is always getting increased and updated, but still they haven't created any machines that can actually outsmell a dog yet. Lewis Robinson's trained more than a thousand dogs worldwide for the military, for private companies, for security, and for bomb detection. He and others are critical of the TSA's current canine program because while the dogs screen luggage and cargo every day here at Sky Harbor and other airports, they do not screen passengers. I think that's a big problem because the last guy that tried to blow up an aircraft had explosives in his underwear. In wake of that incident and the following scanner controversy, Robinson has set his sights on getting the TSA to use dogs to help screen passengers. He's training his young dog Lucy to show canines can find explosives in cargo areas and in screening lines creating another layer of defense which isn't as intrusive as the scanners. A good dog team is, is really hard to get around. Jared Dillingham, 3TV.